Today, President Trump told the U.S. military audience that there have been terrorist attacks that no one knows about because the media choose not to report them. It has been a busy day for presidential statements divorced from reality. Divorced from reality, Kelly called it. That's alongside attacks by the president and his staff in the New York Times for an article critical, they thought, of his White House and the way that it's functioning. Mr. Trump tweeting this. The failing New York Times writes, total fiction concerning me. They've gotten it wrong for two years, and now we're making up stories and sources. Let's get into this with Dan Henniger, deputy editorial page editor for The Wall Street Journal, and Juan Williams, Fox News political analyst and co-host of The Five. We'll be watching the Twitter uh, just to make sure we're not missing any news. Let me start off with this. It is not necessarily newsworthy that the president has a conflict with the media. Yet, when you look across all the different networks, Juan, it's one of the top news stories of the day. I realize the irony of asking you about this and inviting you on to talk about it. But is this possibly why the viewers don't trust the media? Because of everything we have to talk about in the world, we're actually going to talk about ourselves? Well, I think that's one way to view it, Jenna, but I think the other way to view it is that it has political consequence in the current environment that President Trump has decided that, in fact, when he makes a whipping boy out of the American press, the, the mainstream media, and says that these people are not trustworthy, he establishes himself as trustworthy in his Twitter account as the primary source of credible news for his supporters. Do you think that's what's really happening here? Well, something like that may be happening, Jenna, but, you know, uh, back in July, Pew Research, when they did the ratings for media trust, they have uh, people having a lot of confidence in national news at 18%. That puts us down around near where Congress is, and that was before Trump got going as president. So I think there is a credibility problem with the press, and it's not helped at all if they get themselves to be drawn into a smackdown with Donald Trump. And is that what we're doing right now? Debating what's happening. Mean, I understand philosophically there's some big questions about freedom of the press and the functioning of democracy, and I certainly believe in that as a journalist. But again, going back to, are these the real issues that our viewers, the voters, care about? Are we really focusing on the right thing with so much going on in the world, Dan? Well, I thought the voters, look, Trump has an outsized personality, did said some outrageous things during the campaign. A lot of people voted for him, and I think those people who voted for him looked past the Trump personality towards the things he was talking about. And now we've arrived at the point where we have an agenda that includes tax reform, regulatory reform, Obamacare reform, and that, I believe, is what the public wants to learn about, not about Trump's personal battles with CNN or Scott Pelley. So going back to whether or not the past is precedent, uh, one, is is that what we're also seeing now, that viewers think, okay, great, they're going to be talking about the media and Trump again for the 50th time this week, and that viewers and voters are looking past that to the real issues and what Donald Trump is talking about? Well, I think that you're right is that to the extent that people care about what affects them and the fight between the media and Trump that they see as a sideshow. Sure. But I want to come to your earlier point. Should we be focused on this? I think President Trump is the protagonist in this drama. I think he clearly establishes that the press is the demon. He says the press right, is we don't have to report. We don't actually have to follow him. We're in positions to be editors and curators of the news, to be able to focus on what is impacting the American public most of all. We don't have to follow the press. Well, when he says that, in fact, the, the press has deceived you, America, and not told you about terror attacks, I don't see that the press should just lay there and say, oh, yeah, well, we're not going to cover that because President Trump is off on But is that the news it. of the day? Is that really the news of the day, what the president is tweeting about the media? Or is the news of the day really about the terror attacks or really about the Navy SEALs? It, is, it that? is about the reality. But when he says, for example, critical things about our intelligence agencies, even using the words Nazis, and then goes to the intelligence agency and says, no, it's the press that did it. Uh, you have to be, uh, uh, you I'm have to be complicit that it shouldn't be covered. not to point I'm out. not saying that it shouldn't be covered. I'm questioning the wisdom of it being the lead of the evening news or the lead of our own show. There's no question that Trump drives the news, but let's understand Lyndon Johnson intensely disliked the press, as did Richard Nixon and indeed Bill Clinton. What was different now is you have social media elevating these things, and you have the President of the United States, a primary user of social media. It's a little hard for the press to avoid it, to be sure, 
But I think they've got to toughen up a little bit and understand they just cannot, they're not doing the public a service by obsessing over Donald Trump's tweets. That's, Get to the substance of the news. That's what I'm wondering. And following the play-by-play, tweet-by-tweet, are we missing the broader picture of what's really happening to the media environment, for the example, where, where the traditional gateways of media are coming down and new people are arising, where there's going to be a different sort of tension between those in power and those that are supposed to cover You know what's so interesting about this line of questioning is I hear that from people who are very vocal critics of President Trump who say you and the media get distracted by Trump's tweets from other issues, things of real substance. And it's very similar to the line of question you're pursuing here today. And what do you, what do you mean by that? Well, that they say, say that he's distracting you, that, for example, let's say what's going on with Obamacare and the replace repeal. Well, do you Instead, think we're having arguments about terror attacks that didn't that happen. But you actually started saying that, that this could be part of the strategy. It could be. I don't know. But if it is a strategy, it has some effect because, as Dan was saying, in this new media environment, the press often does follow what he says on Twitter. And getting back to the broader point, though, again, big picture of the election. Have we all learned the lessons of what this election was really about? About really focusing on what the viewers or the voters think is most important, rather than what we in New York or in certain media empires view as important, Dan. Well, well I mean, that's right. Obviously, the American people voted for change. Look. Bernie Sanders was as big an element in that election as Donald Trump. Sanders was all about change. He had no right getting in there and winning 22 primaries. So whether people are on the left or on the right, they want something to change. And they don't just want to change in the personality of their president. They want to change in the substance of the country's policies. And somehow or other, we in the press have to break through this Donald Trump storm of tweets and comments about the press and get to what we're trying to accomplish with this government. It will be really interesting to see how Sean Spicer addresses all this. Again, in the 24 hours since he last spoke, another news story came out about the media and <laughs> President Trump. So we're going to be waiting for the press briefing. You guys are going to hold on because we want to hear what you have to say about it as well. In the meantime, we do have some other headlines to get to.